Hello and welcome to Seychelles again, everyone. It is Michael here. And yeah, you can see these beautiful Seychelles granite rocks that are iconic and famous in the background. And as I mentioned in my last video, Seychelles is this very traditional, well-known tax haven for certain things. So I thought I would talk a little bit about the history of how that works, uh, what it is good for today, what it's not good for today, and give you some ideas that might make Seychelles interesting, aside from visiting, which it's literally, I would say, probably the top two places in the world that I've been in terms of kind of tropical paradises. There's just like some ridiculously good beaches. There's awesome jungle. It's super safe. It's super clean. You've got these awesome rocks. Like it's uh, it's very unique. So anyway, well, let's dive in and talk about it right now. So the thing that people might not be aware of if you are kind of new to this kind of whole world is that you have uh, a history of Seychelles IBCs, okay? So this is basically an international business company. It's a company that you could form and it was pretty popular for a long time. In fact, going back to the first time that I ever knew anything about offshore, I started to research. And I think I knew about British Virgin Islands or Bahamas or Cayman or something like that. And I was reading some articles and people were talking about how Seychelles was better for such and such reasons. And it was pretty popular for a long time. It was relatively inexpensive. It was also a situation where you had uh, so zero tax, they had really good secrecy, it was quick and easy to form, easy to maintain, and so a lot of people really liked Seychelles as a place to form a company, even though they've never come here. Now, it's worth noting that IBCs are special types of companies, so the corporate tax rate in Seychelles is not, uh, not zero. It's normally 25% up to 30%. So an IBC is kind of a different class of company. It doesn't get treated the same way. And this is generally uh, not liked by kind of the international community these days. Now, in addition to that, uh, personal taxes are not zero here. It's 15%, which is not outrageously high, but not outrageously low either. And what's happened since the introduction of FATCA and the Common Reporting Standard and kind of the attack on tax havens is that you're in a situation where they do not want to give you banking for these companies in most cases, or at least you don't get good banking. I talked in a previous video about what that means to me. And yeah, it's just difficult to get banking, certainly difficult to get good banking, impossible to get payment processing, et cetera, et cetera. It might be okay if you're wanting to do stuff with crypto. That's like the one thing that there's a resurgence of a lot of these uh, traditional tax havens, but otherwise not so good. So the question then becomes, what is it good for? And honestly, I think from my perspective, what's interesting is residency and citizenship. So there's no citizenship by investment in Seychelles at this point in time, but it's not that difficult to get citizenship. It's about five years of maintaining residency. It's not that difficult to get residency here. You can get permanent residency as well. Uh, there is technically unofficial citizenship by investment that, you know, if you can negotiate it or something like that, I don't have connections for that. This is not one of those places for me, but, uh, but maybe over time we'll develop it. It's a pretty decent passport equivalent to the Caribbean ones. It's got, along with Grenada and Dominica, and only a couple other places, the ability to go visa-free to both Russia, China, UK, and the Schengen zone. You also get New Zealand here, which is great. So it's kind of competitive, I would say, with something like St. Kitts. Maybe a little better, maybe a little bit worse, depending on which places you want to go, but pretty, pretty reasonable passport. Not great, it doesn't have Canada, the US, Australia, Japan, etc. but, you know, decent options. And so then what you've got is uh, on the residency side. So the cool thing about the residency is it only takes five days a year to maintain residency here, which is pretty great. So from my perspective, like, can I come to Seychelles for five days a year for a vacation? Absolutely. I think I could come and spend, you know, a month a year and be quite happy. There's a fair amount to do compared to some other places like Maldives, which is extraordinary. Um, you know, you can just relax. Internet connection, not so great generally, I would say but still pretty, uh, pretty reasonable place to be. So in my opinion, as a place to get residency, very interesting. It's like I said, not particularly hard. doesn't cost that much. Uh, you probably wouldn't get a job here, but as a place to yeah, just get residency, that's pretty good. Come back once a year, spend a bit of time, maybe buy some property. It's difficult to buy property as a foreigner here right now. They basically restrict, unless you're going to buy at Four Seasons or, uh, there's a development called Eden, a few others. Uh, they restrict how many people can buy or how much is available for purchase from foreigners. But that being said, buying property here, I think, is, is a cool bet. It's something that I'm looking at to see 
I found like particularly where I would like to buy and what properties I'd like to buy, but you have to, they aren't for sale. So have to find out an opportunity to do that, but I would certainly do it. And uh, it's not cheap. It's not super expensive, but it's definitely not cheap. And so, yeah, I think buying property, visiting here once a year, having residency after five years, transitioning the residency into citizenship is way more attractive, more stable long-term if you can afford to wait than just doing some Caribbean CBI, but is an equivalent or better passport. So that is my thoughts. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Put them in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like help, reach out to us, book a call, county.com forward slash Michael Dash Rosmer, link in the description below, or send a message to our websites, offshorecitizen.net, offshorecapitalist.com, and have a great day.